Well, in another major flare-up today along the Assam-Mizoram border, around 100 Mizo civilians, backed by a company of Mizoram police, intruded at least six kilometers inside Assam's Kachar district, leading to serious tensions and large-scale exodus of villagers from the area. Well, according to sources, an explosive was also hurled at the Assam side at a distance from the site of the intrusion. Thankfully, however, there were no casualties or injuries on Assam's side. Assam officials have also claimed that the intruders were armed with machetes and sharp weapons and had even threatened Assam PWD and forest officials posted at the border area. And after receiving the news, Assam's Southern Range DIG, along with the SP and DC of Kachar district, rushed to the site to confront the intruders and asked them to return. Officials in Assam have also alleged that an additional SP of the Mizoram police was a witness to the entire intrusion, but he remained a mute spectator and watched the entire episode from a distance. Sources have also said that the intruders have since returned from the spot but are camping just across a river. Assam DGP Bhaskar Jyoti Mohanto has taken up the matter with his Mizoram counterpart SBK Singh and ADGP Harmeet Singh is also camping in the area to monitor the entire situation. And this border flare-up of course comes just a day after high-level talks between the chief secretaries of both Assam and Mizoram had taken place to chalk out a plan and solve this long-pending boundary dispute. And on the other hand, Assam Chief Minister Dr. Himanta Bishwa Sharma, while addressing a press conference today, said that Assam is ready for discussions on any border issue, but no one will be allowed to encroach on the state's territories. Listen in. Some tensions are, tension is going on in both Assam Nagaland and Assam Mizoram border. Assam police has been deployed to protect our constitutional boundary. But at the same time, Assam be, being the largest state or uh, basically in a way we are gateway to Northeast, we are always open for mutual discussion and resolution of our dispute. But only thing that do not encross our land, if there is any dispute, we will sit over the table and we will resolve it. As of now, Assam police is working day and night to protect our constitutional boundary. And well, the Kachar SP Vaivhav Nimbolkar said that the encroachers were armed and used abusive language against the Assam government officials. Uh, आगोटे यात्रे 25 मीटर्स आगोटे अमी अजी देखी देखी बोले पालू जे किसू मिसो पब्लिक है यात्रे आही आगबड़ी आही सिले इनक्रोच कोडी बोले अमार फॉरेस्ट और जी तो जंगल टाइप का कामों तो बढ़ा दिया सिले दे वेर वेरी एग्रेसिव एंड अब्यूजिव आल्सो इतने अमी जेट अमी अहम पुलिस अमार कचार पुलिस डिस्ट्रिक्ट आही वो विसाई ऐसे ले आमी होता है प्रथम वाटे निर्देश दिलो जो सूचित कर लो जो आहे अखमर माटी अखमर ऑलरेडी है तो साढ़े सौ किलोमीटर भित्रत आमी याते आसु ताते यहाँ टे बाधा दिवा ही सिले अमर सरकारी कामात गवर्नमेंट ड्यूटी तो बाधा दिवा ही सिले आमी यहाँ टोक बुझाए और आमी अमर फोर्स य� जी तो देखी सु सिचुएशन तो आमी यहाँ पर मिजोरम पुलिसों को सूचित कोई सु जे एने के यहाँ पर मिजो लोकल पब्लिक है याते आही एने के गवर्नमेंट ड्यूटी बाधा दिया से हिल साइड ऑफ ऐटा आमी हॉप्ड होनी लो हेतु आमी तरंता कोडिया सु याते कुनो हटी हुआ ना हिल साइड ऑफ जी तो आमी हॉप्ड होनी आया सु जेतो � अपना तो हम लोग रिक्वेस्ट करें अपना निजेर ग्रामे मान निजेर बाड़ी ते अपना चले जान और अपना शारे छोई किलोमीटर भीतर ढूँके से इटा भूल कास करें से अपना निजेर ग्रामे था के आमद जितना कास पीस कुली करते हैं एक वो अंदर 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 नहीं जमीन हो इसे 
So there you have it, viewers, as you clearly heard and saw on your screens. And of course, let me tell you, that is, of course, the Assam DIG Debojoti Mukherjee requesting and telling the intruders from the Mizoram side to return back to Mizoram and not intrude any further into Assam territory. Of course, viewers, another major flare-up along the interstate border between Assam and Mizoram. And as you just saw, the Assam DIG himself coming to the spot and requesting the re intruders a hundred in number as far as reports are concerned to return back to the Mizoram side. Uh, all right, and to get a better idea of uh, where things stand at this given point in time, I'm now being joined live uh, from uh, Silchar by my colleague uh, Vikram Sarkar. So, uh, you know, indeed, uh, Vikram, another major flare-up, you know, there's so, so much happening in the span of less than 24 hours. Uh, of course, the Assam DIG himself had to rush to the spot. What is, are your sources telling you as far as, uh, you know, things on the Assam side are concerned? Vikram. Yes, Ronak, uh, as you have already mentioned, that uh, it's a fresh tension has prevailing in this uh, the border side of Assam and Mizoram. And uh, now today, officially, the SP Kachar has already mentioned that uh, uh, this, uh, the encroachers from the side of Mizoram, they have come, came inside 6.5 kilometers and have captured the Assam land. Though the police got, uh, Assam police were successfully moved them, pushed them back 2.5 kilometers, but they are still uh, standing by uh, in around 4.5 kilometers inside Assam land because there is a drain in between, so they were unable to cross. Today, as per the SP and as per the uh, spectators there, we have, they have said that the people who are there more than 120, 200 uh, women and uh, men were there along with the weapons in their heart. They were very much aggressive 
and very much abusive. Uh, they were trying to stop the developmental work which is going alongside the borders. They have stopped the forest department. They have stopped men, uh, the PWD who are constructing road out there because, and Ronak, it is here to mention that the CM Dr. Himanta Vishesh Sharma has already mentioned, has already told that this constitutional boundary dispute will only be get settled by dialogues. But uh, just after that, we have seen that the people are not at all willing to uh, go by that. They are aggressive. They are not going to leave the land of Assam. But, and what the people are saying as per the statement coming from uh, the side, from the Mizoram side people. And in presence of the ADGP who came here in Kachar district to monitor the entire walk of development which is going on there for road construction for the school to open. Because last year also, Ronak, we have seen that the two government schools were being bombed. And the people flew away from that many 50, around 50 families. They flew away from their own native places, from their own houses. And so to get them settled back to their place to work uh, this uh, road construction, the work is going on. But today, the people who are, with the help of the IR battalion of Mizoram, came inside uh, the Assam land, hurled uh, grenade in presence of uh, the, right. uh, the officials who were right, there. Right, right, absolutely. Uh, you know, Vikram, you know, we've also heard, you know, as far as the reports are concerned, that even though the intruders had afterwards, uh, you know, left that spot and returned back, however, the latest reports were telling us that uh, they were just camping near a river which is not too far from the site of intrusion. So, you know, any updates regarding that at this point in time, Vikram? Yes, uh, that's the thing I was saying, uh, Ronak, that police have, uh, Assam police have succeeded to push them back only 2.5 kilometers out of this 6.5 kilometers. They are still in, uh, inside the Assam land, uh, which is around 4.5 kilometers. The, uh, the vigil has been increased there in, along the border side. Both Assam police are there camping out there. Uh, Mizoram uh, police and IR battalion are also there campaign. They have camped there. The talks are still going on, but... Uh, so far, we have seen uh, yesterday there was a high-level talk being held at uh, Gujarat Bhavan in Delhi. Still, the problem is not solved. And as per our sources, Ronak, uh, we are uh, we're supposed to say that as per our sources, a very soon uh, higher-level meeting is going to hell on this issue. All this right. much we can say so far, Ronak. All right, all right. Vikram Sarkar, thank you very much for that update coming in from Silchar at this point in time. And thank you very much for all of those latest updates. So, viewers, there you have it. We have heard from the Assam side, of course, of what is the latest update. Meanwhile, Kola Sib SP, Van Lal Falka, Faka, rejected any reports that explosives were used and claimed that the sound came from a JCB tire burst, in fact. And he also said that there was a no violence from the Mizoram side and added that villagers had only organized a peaceful protest. Officials from Assam has alleged that uh, uh, over 100 civilians from Mizoram have intruded deep inside Assamese territory. So what is your take on the issue? No, it is not like that. The farmers who are cultivating that land for hundreds and hundreds of years, okay, their land has been destroyed by the some officials this morning. So the farmers are reacting to that. They are just uh, protesting, peaceful protest against their crop damage. That is what happened. There are some officials, they are constructing a road uh, on their farm without uh, informing them or without doing anything. They are just constructing out on their farm. That's why they are peacefully protesting this morning. Okay, uh, sir, uh, there are also allegations that explosives was hurled uh, towards Assam. So can you confirm the development, sir? No, that is not, uh, that is not true. There is an explosion I heard, but that explosion is uh, a JCB tire, which was exploded. Okay, okay. JCB tire, JCB tire because uh, JCB was uh, going here and there, uh, that time the tire was exploded. That is uh, what happened. All right, so that was not explosive, so you are confirming? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Okay.
All right, and to get a better idea of how things stand on the Mizoram side, I'm now being joined live from Aizol by my colleague Isaac Zoram Sangha. Well, uh, Isaac, another major flare-up. We have already heard from the Assam side. What is the latest update you're receiving from your sources from the Mizoram side? What are your sources telling you, Isaac? Yeah, just after the day of this... Uh Chief Secretary Dr. Toxin Delhi. So there are uh, there is another uh, border dispute uh, there in the <coughs> there in the policy area from from, uh, from this on side uh, from this. So so uh, in this morning at Pinon village, uh, the sources say that uh, today's morning at Pinon village uh, around eight o'clock. So uh, the Assam uh, this Assam side have been constructing uh, roads in the in in the Pinon area. So it, it, where the farms have been uh, the, uh, cultivated. So yes, uh, those farms uh, farms have been destroyed, and also so many plantations and uh, so many arecana trees have been destroyed in, in the farm itself. So uh, yes, uh, the, the villagers have uh, pre, uh, pre, uh, have trying to push push all those pe uh, all those people and uh, and help a peaceful protest there. And so that after that, uh, the, the, some, uh, the some police have reached their locations and uh, they, they are, some police are trying to push back the villagers or, or, or the, uh, for the, village, the village people from Pinewam. So, yes, uh, they, they, some people have got, uh, the sources say that some people have got attacked by the, some police uh, uh, and, and also their mobile phones uh, were being... Uh, <clears throat> we're being damaged by the Assam police also right now. All right, Isaac Zoram Sangha, thank you very much for all of those updates. Uh, thank you very much for joining us and giving us uh, those uh, latest updates as far as the Mizoram side is concerned.